So, are you gonna review Miller's Crossing? I'll think about it. Miller's Crossing is just one of many Coen Brother film reviews to come, so I feel the need now to tell you that these are actually two of my personal least favorite filmmakers. I haven't seen everything they've done thus far in their career, but from what I have seen, not the biggest fan. Their style just doesn't really agree with me. But oddly enough, I am always interested in what they are doing next. I have no idea what that means. Miller's Crossing, their third film, is the first of their films that I've actually genuinely liked. All that said. It's got their quirky trademarks in there, you know, but for some reason I... I don't know. I enjoyed it. The story itself is a bit complex, and it took me a long time to start grasping what was going on, but I do plan to watch it again sometime, so I'm sure once I do, all the holes will be filled. The cast is outstanding and features a number of the Coen Brothers' usual suspects. And my favorite was Gabriel Byrne as the lead. He was spot on in every scene he was in, which is, like, almost every scene, basically. Although, funny enough, his character seems to go through this endless loop throughout the film of just conversation, get beat up, conversation, get beat up. Gets kinda old by the end, but the dialogue is good enough that the conversations don't feel like stale ale after the halfway point. More of a nitpick than anything is a dislike I had for some of the camera placement choices. One of the things I learned recently from a very good book on filmmaking is that each angle should help tell the story and shouldn't be chosen for any other reason. Like, that's cool. And occasionally it felt like, to me, Joel Cohen was picking angles that really just had a certain quirk factor. But as a whole, I was shocked to find myself really liking this movie. It had beautiful production design, costume design, and photography. But it is just like a tad long, and I think had some more time been spent in pre-production with the script, they could have wrapped things up quicker, story-wise. So I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. We'll just have to see now how the others fare. Hopefully, semi-positive. Thank you all very much for your time. Have an awesome day.